Once upon a time, there lived a sweet, beautiful girl named Cinderella. She had such a beautiful voice that even the birds came to her window to hear her sing each morning. Cinderella lived with her evil stepmother, a woman as cruel and selfish as her two daughters. Cinderella's stepmother forced her to clean the house from top to bottom without a break. She couldn't even leave the house to go for a walk. One fine day, an invitation arrived at the house. It was from the royal palace and announced a grand ball to be held in honor of the prince. How wonderful! The stepmother told her daughters that they should try and make the prince fall in love with one of them and get married so that the three of them could all live in the palace. <laughs> Cinderella innocently asked her stepmother if she could attend the ball as well. Oh, but of course! The old woman responded with an air of falseness. So long as all your chores are done. And that mean old woman already had many things in mind. The young girl would have to wash, sew, and iron her stepsister's dresses, as well as help them get ready for the big occasion. But when Cinderella had finally finished all of her chores, it was time to leave for the party, and she still looked like a disaster. So the poor girl stayed at home crying while her stepmother was off to the ball with her terrible daughters. Poor Cinderella. <laughs> Don't worry, love, said a friendly voice all of the sudden. I'll help you. When Cinderella looked up, she saw that the voice was that of her fairy godmother. The fairy godmother told her that she could go to the ball on one condition. She must be home by midnight. With her magic wand, the fairy godmother turned her filthy rags into a beautiful gown that was fit for a princess. She looked so beautiful. Then, the fairy godmother lent her the most beautiful shoes in the world. They were made of glass. Finally, the fairy godmother took a pumpkin and a few mice, and she turned them into an elegant coach led by horses. When Cinderella arrived to the palace, Everyone admired her beauty. She was the prettiest girl at the ball. Not even her stepsisters recognized her. The mysterious girl captivated the prince, and the two of them danced the night away. Time passed quickly when, suddenly, the hands of the palace clock struck midnight. Huh? Upon hearing the bells chime, Cinderella began running, leaving behind one of her glass slippers. The prince was worried and tried running after the girl. He instead found her dainty shoe and hid it in his pocket. The next day, the prince ordered that every young girl in the kingdom must try on the glass slipper. It was the only way he could find his beloved. <laughs> one by one, all of the girls in the kingdom tried on the shoe until it was Cinderella's turn. What a surprise! The shoe fit perfectly. 
The evil stepmother and her daughters couldn't believe that Cinderella was the mysterious girl from the ball. They were furious to know that the girl would marry the prince. Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after in their royal palace. And ever since that moment, the palace was full of birds each morning. They all wanted to hear the princess's beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs>